Hi, this is Porter Thorndike with a review of a lot of the exciting new features we're working on for release 9.2 of Web Focus. The first one, and this is a very important customer request, is complex filter expressions. So I've got a chart in the background. I'm going to create a series of filter expressions that are going to actually conflict with each other and produce no data. So I'm going to select three product categories right there. You notice that's going to affect the display of my visualization, I'm now going to select some product subcategories that don't exist in that group. That is a common use case and there are more as well. I'm going to select some of the Blu-rays and DVD players. Those don't exist in the product categories that I've already selected. So because this is an AND condition, the chart in the filter is confused and it's not going to know what to display. I mean, it's going to display nothing actually. And that's a problem because a lot of times you may want the filter to actually indicate that you want to include both. So that would be an or condition. So we can fix this by clicking on the filter button at the top of the page and saying edit filter expression. And we can create a new group. And once we create that group, what we can do is we can change that and to an or. Okay, so a lot more fine-grained flexibility around filter expressions. You know this. Notice this now produces four product categories, as well with that secondary condition that you added, and changing the AND operator to an OR operator. So one of the next things we've been working on a lot of really small things here. Um, one thing in an HTML report as we go to output settings in the format tab is turning on freeze column titles for HTML reports. Okay, so if you've got a really long report and you need to scroll, you want to maintain view of that title. Some other things we've been doing, uh, support for comma-separated value output formats here as well. So back in the format tab, one option you have now is comma-separated values or tab-separated with or without headers. Let's go ahead and run one of those for you really quickly. And there's your CSV output right from designer. Some other things that we've been working on for you as well as we've been building out the pixel perfect document mode of designer, right? Drop in any image, report or chart wherever you want. We can also drop text boxes in now. Complete control over things like formatting and the look and the display of this text box as well as the precision placement on the page. Another thing we've been working on, did some really exciting things around integration with the ESRI in the last couple of releases. Another visualization type uh, is called binning. And so that works when you've got a lot of points like this. These are customer addresses. So I'm gonna add a color attribute of revenue. And as we look at the layer properties, sometimes what you would wanna do is group all of those points into actual bins. So when we look at the type, right now it's marker, new visualization type is bin. You notice we've also got density and cluster. And so based on the bin size, right, it's going to look at the geographic area and group them into different bins. So that's a really, you know, small number of bins. If you have a high number of bins, you could produce this where um, the all of these ex addresses in this case don't actually group into bins. So as you adjust that level, you'll notice kind of some of the different control that you have over how that gets visualized there. And you can play around with that based on the number of bins that you want. And it's basically a spectral heat map overlaid on a map. And one of the last things we did is a more flexibility for developers in the interactions feature. Really powerful new capability we added. And now developers can execute JavaScript functions from buttons or click events on panels uh, or on like parameter or control displays as well. This has been Porter Thorndike with a quick review of some exciting new features in release 9.2.